Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Saturday Knife Live and happy Halloween to you all. How y'all doing? The Jasons, the Jasons are here. They were the first ones in. Jason Brown, Jason Holland, how you doing? Zach, hello. Ethan, good evening. Hey, Mikey, Mark, Rick, hello. How are all of you guys doing tonight? I hope you had a fantastic, fantastic Halloween. I know I did. Hello, Talbert. We spent the evening at some friend's house doing scavenger hunts, scaring the bejeebers out of the kids and the trees. A lot of fun. So, hey, Grom, how you doing, buddy? Welcome, good to see you. Shoemaster Tech, hello, hello. Grimm's here, Libertarian's here. Oh, my goodness. The gang's jumping in. Excellent, excellent. You have video. I hope you have video. <laughs> I hope you have audio. I hope you have video. <laughs> Yeah, I was talking to you through the chat for a minute. Hey, Chad, what's up, buddy? How's it going? So I'm, I'm hopefully I'll say this a few times during the show tonight, but don't forget tonight, change your clocks back. I think it's, a, it's supposed to be at 2 or 3 a.m. Set your clocks back. It's fall. We fall back one hour. So don't forget to do that tonight, guys. Just a friendly PSA from your good friend JB at Big Red EDC. <laughs> That was, my, that was a really bad commercial, wasn't it? Really bad. Two becomes one. Yes. But one is none. So what are we going to do, Rick? One is none and two is one, right? Nice fast. Hey, you made it, buddy. How you doing? What's up, Casey? Paul, good evening to you. How are you doing? Yep, that's exactly what we did, Jason. We had flashlights and we were doing a scavenger hunt. We hid the kids' candy and... It was out in the trees, though, so my buddy John and I were running around, scaring the kids and doing all the fun stuff, you know. Carving pumpkins, excellent, excellent, very cool. Should you buy a knife mat? I don't know. If you want a, if you want a knife mat, you should buy a knife mat. You should have whatever you want to have. What's up, Born of Blades? Stuart, here for a bit. All righty. Well, I'm glad you are here for a bit. I'm glad you're all here. Topher, what's up? Good evening, buddy. I am I am doing fantastic. Actually, I have my, we're outside, so I have my little chili, so I have my cup of coffee with a little, uh, little extra in it, little peanut butter whiskey in there. Mmm, that's good stuff. Oh, nice, Grom, nice. Cue the Hulk Hogan theme song. Winchester in the house. Right on. What's up, buddy? Uh, no, this one isn't Screwball, Dave. This one is... I can't remember what this one is. <laughs> Sorry. It's not Screwball, though. I wanted to try a different one just to see if it was good. And it is. I wish I could tell you the name of it. So, yeah, Talbert, I see you're working on your leather work. That's good, man. You're coming along real good. Keep doing it, you'll get better and better, man. Oh, it is good. It is good. So, right on. So, I tell you what. We're, our show might be a little different tonight. It might be the same. Really depends on what you guys want to do. What, KB290? Oh, really? Right on. Hey, what's up? Slicey's in the house. What's happening, man? Yes, you do gain an hour. Right on. Good to see you. Happy to have you. So tonight, our coin of the evening is my United States Navy retired coin. I stood the watch. Honor, courage, and commitment, the Navy's core values. Then on the back, I could have had it. Uh, I never did, but I could have had it engraved with my name and the year. But it says, when asked what I did, what I'm most proud of, I stick out my chest, hold my head high, 
and state proudly I served in the United States Navy. That is a quote from Mr. John F. Kennedy. So, yep, that is our coin for this evening. If it'll focus for you or not, there we go. But yep, that's our coin for tonight. I do have a few coins. I thought I'd just kind of start showing them off. I haven't done videos with them or anything, but another little EDC item. Oh, you, yeah, really, Ethan? Oh, right on. Very good. That's very cool. Well, I hope you do too, brother. Hey, Parker, what's going on? What's with the Boba Fett? Boba Fett's the coolest Star Wars character there ever was. That's why he's here. How do boats work? Well, those, the type I went on, sink on purpose. So I don't know how smart that is, but you know. <laughs> why didn't I have it engraved? I don't know, Rick. I don't know why I didn't, to be perfectly honest with you. I just never did. Yes, but submarines do sink on purpose. Yes, I agree. Boba Fett is awesome. That's why he's here. It was actually, it was a, it was a present from my son. So he just wound up on the review table right there beside Blue. Standing there beside Blue that helps me review knives. Boba Fett doesn't review knives. Bo Boba Fett doesn't say anything. He just sits there. Yeah. So what was everybody carrying today? I'll show you my carry today. In honor of Halloween, I was carrying this guy, my orange finch Rutley. Awesome little knife, 154 cm. I love the shield. I really like the way they do their shields. I know some people do and some people don't, but I really do. What do we got? A Kershaw Tension, Bigfoot Tinker, cool. Uh, Mini Osborne, very good. Launch 13. Yeah, orange and black, I figured, you know, I had to do it. Right on, right on, Casey. Oh, Combat Trodon Hellhound. Yeah, that's appropriate. Uh, that's definitely appropriate. It does kind of look like a Ferrari shield. Yes, it does. Did I miss Peter and Christine? Oh, hello, Peter. How are you, buddy? Jack's here too. Hey, Jack, how you doing? Glad to have you, if only for a few minutes. It's always good to see you. What else we got? A bug out, a neutron, Hogax 5. Oh, nice. The Texel. I love the Texel. Orange CVB Fracture. Very good. Native 5. Hey, Didier. How you doing, buddy? Formax Scout. Yeah, it's early in the morning. <laughs> Glad you could join us, my friend. Orange Tucson and a Tucson with a red micardian. Oh, I saw that one. I like that. I like that one. Hey, Hollywood. Paint Dozier, right on. Very good. Rex 45, native, good. Off-grid Viper, there you go. <laughs> you need some of what I got here. My little coffee and peanut butter whiskey. That'll get you going. Ferrum Forge Gent, Sabenza. Very cool. Awesome. Well, I guess I better put this up here so you got something to look at. We'll put that guy up there. Like I said, guys, it was really kind of a slow week for knives this week. So I got a couple to show off. I got a couple of things to talk about. And, of course, uh, I think most of you saw that... Uh, I got Zach's patch up there. Thank you, Zach. The announcement that Zach and I made for our holiday giveaway. Hey, Caleb, what's up, buddy? Glad to have you. Hey, Jonathan, what's going on, man? CGRB Gobi, nice. Jacqueline, hi, how are you? So, yes, indeedy. Zach and I announced the, the it's not, we haven't really started the giveaway. We just kind of 
give you an idea of what we've been working on and what we're doing. I tell you what, guys, we have had, I think I counted it up and I think we have 28. I think it's 28 companies on board right now. 28 companies, companies slash, um, I guess, like leather workers, Hank makers. They're not really businesses or retailers, but, you know, like, uh, oh, Holiday Leatherworks. You know, that's kind of a side hustle for him. He donated something. So like that, kind of the artisan type, one man shop type of stuff. So 28, that is pretty awesome. Oh, and we're still we're still talking to people, man. Artisans, craftsmen, that's a good way to put it, Hollywood, exactly. So, yeah, we are pretty, we are both pretty excited about it and ready. Yeah, exactly, Dave, exactly. So, helping them, maybe helping them to maybe help get their name out there. And Yeah, I hear you, man. That's just... The, the companies are just, they're, they're awesome. That's about all I can say is they're absolutely awesome. They're willing to her, help out, and it's just so awesome. So awesome. Hey, what's up, Knife Dude? Well, and that's kind of what we were talking about too, Didier, is 2020 has pretty much been a pretty crap year. I mean, uh, let's just, I mean, I've had some good things happen, and I have had some good things happen, but... For basically the world in general, <laughs> 2020 has just been, wow, can we get a do-over, please, type of thing. So, yeah, hopefully we can end it up with a bang, put a few uh, smiles on people's faces, and at least make them forget about it for a little while. So, there you go. If you haven't seen the video, Zach just put a... Zach just put a link to it up there, so make sure you check it out. I will tell you that video is not the most visually stimulating video. <laughs> I caught Zach at work, and we did it through Zoom, and it's just kind of our tables and stuff. And so, but what we have to say is is pretty. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly, slicey. Yes. So yes. Yeah, Sean Connery, man. That's a uh, ah, that was crazy. Ninety years old though. Wow. I, I did not. I mean, I knew he was getting up there, but wow, ninety. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I don't have a moped, Talbert. Actually, that came from Stuart. That was a gift from Stuart Harvey in the chat tonight. He sent it to me from Ontario. Ontario, it's my keepsake from my Canadian friend. No, I don't have a moped. I just have the life, the license plate for it. So, yeah, I would agree, Rick. He was probably my favorite Bond. He was probably my favorite Bond. But in all fairness, when I was growing up, Roger Moore was Bond. I mean, he was. He was James Bond when I was growing up. But I love Sean Connery. Absolutely love Sean Connery. Oh my goodness. Well, let's see. What direction are we going to go tonight? Well, I do have a couple of things to show you and I've got a couple of things to tell you. So let's get those out of the way right now. Um, you know, there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of people in the community. Um, just, well, we were talking about 2020 being a crap year. Well, it's hit pretty people pretty hard. I know our friend Peter was going through some stuff. Uh, a lot of people going through some stuff. Got another one, another friend that is going through some stuff right now. Um, he's usually, he's on the, he he's comments on almost every one of the videos. He's in the live stream a lot. I don't see him here right now. He might be lurking in the dark somewhere and that's fine. But uh, it's monster racing. And again, he's been out of work for a long time. So what I am going to do is I am going to throw together, I have got some fixed blades that I have just been accumulating. I've been wanting to review them and stuff, and it's just, it's not really my flow. 
fixed blades just don't really larger fixed blades i should say so there you go zach just put up a a link to monster racing's uh actually his gofundme but what i'm what i am going to do is i'm going to auction off a few fixed blades and I'm going to donate the proceeds to his GoFundMe. That's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, it's, I mean, there's, and it's not, there's a lot of people going through it right now. A lot of people. Yeah, Scott, it does. It might ring a bell. How you doing, buddy? So, and something else about monster racing, guys. I'll tell you this little story right now. So, Scott F., he just showed up in the chat there. He won the second place. He was the second name drawn in my Oktoberfest giveaway. And he turned around and said, hey, you know what? I want to donate this spot to another person that happens to be in our chat tonight, Jason, Jason Brown. I was like, okay, man, you're the winner. So you can do whatever you want to do. And he's like, okay. So I get, Jason gets, a, I get a whole, Jason and I talk. Hey, Zeb, what's up, buddy? And Jason turns around and he's like, hey, you know what? You know what? Monster Racing has been having a tough time. Why don't you give my spot to him? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> sure, sure. So then I contact Monster Racing. And, you know, I talk to him and kind of tell him what I am thinking of doing, you know, with the fixed blades and stuff. So, and I, but I was like, hey, Scott gave his spot to Jason and Jason gave his spot to you. So you get to pick a knife from my recent giveaway. And he's like, you know what he, you know what Monster Racing ended up doing? He ended up donating the knife he chose to Zach and I's giveaway. And he's like, he's like, I have been wanting to do something and to give back to the community but he, he's like, I just haven't had the money to do it. So if you don't mind, I would like to do that. So I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? That's awesome. That's awesome. So you know what? Monster Racing, thank you, brother. Thank you so much for your donation to the holiday giveaway. I greatly appreciated it. And yes, I will be doing an auction here and getting the proceeds and i saw your comment peter i did see it um that would be great if you want to i would greatly appreciate it for sure uh yeah let me know man shoot me a message or whatever but yeah so i mean guys this community it just keeps going and going and going and giving and going and giving i mean it's just amazing it's amazing and it's just so awesome so awesome to be a part of it. And that's that's a big reason. Hey, Spirit of Blades, what's up? That's one of the big reasons why Zach and I are doing what we're doing with this holiday giveaway. As you guys give and give. And I tell you what, us as YouTube channels, we try to do a lot of stuff for people. And we ask you guys to help us do that. Hey, T.I., what's up? And... Hey, there's Monster. Right on, buddy. So that's why we do these giveaways, because you guys do so much that we want to do for you. So, hey, Tepe Designs, Mr. Sean Hassan is in the house. How you doing? You'd like to donate a knife to the giveaway? Um, all right. I tell you what, man, shoot me a message on Instagram if you would. That would be fantastic, man. Yeah, that would be very, very cool, brother. I would so greatly appreciate that. Yeah, hit me up on Instagram if you don't mind, Big Red EDC, and we'll talk about it, brother. Thank you so much. Fantastic. See, there you go, man. It's just give, give, give continually. Thank you, brother. Thank you so, so much. Absolutely awesome. So back to the spirit of giving. We're not seeing many knives, guys, but you know what? We're talking about the community, and that's what I like to do. So, speaking of giving, okay, 
Paul, and I'm going to say this as best as I can. Paul runs a French speaking EDC channel called oh, De Cure et de Lame, which basically means leather and blade. That's the name of his channel, De Cure de Lame. De Cure, ah, I'm not saying it right. De Cure et de Lame. There you go. And I am going to copy a. There you go. There is his channel link right there. Guys, he runs a French speaking. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't on point, but it was close. <laughs> kinda. It was kind of close. <laughs> he sent this all the way from France. He sent me an Amari Knives track. He sent this to me from France to auction off and donate the proceeds to Peter, a Therapeutic Edges GoFundMe. I don't know what part of France, Jacqueline. I don't know what part of France for sure. But it's stainless steel and carbon fiber on the handle, S35 VN blade, nice drop point blade. Yeah, I speak a different kind of French for sure. The kind that kind of offends people most of the time. But this is... This is a very, very nice knife. And uh, Zach just threw up a link to Peter's GoFundMe as well. So yes, he sent this to me. So I will be auctioning this knife off at the same time I auction off the stuff for, I'm gonna do it all in one. So, but this one will be getting auctioned off. So thank you very much, Paul. This one will go to support Peter's GoFundMe. Thank you so very much, my friend. I hope I slightly did the name of your channel justice. So, yeah, Monster's here now. But also what Paul did, <coughs> his channel is Leather and Blades. He sent me this. He made, there is his card. PJS Leatherworks. But he made me this wallet as a thank you for doing this to him. Doing this for him, not to him. For auctioning off this knife for me. This is a really, really nice leather wallet. Um, no, they're not going to be a live stream Born of Blades. It's going to be a comment. Comment, you know, make a comment in the comment section of the video. Um, Scott, Big Boar Knife and Gear just did one and it seemed to work out pretty well. So I think I'm going to do it that way. I'm just going to let it run for a few days and then highest bidder wins type of thing. So yeah, he's even got his maker mark, maker's mark in there, PJS. I mean, it's a really, really nice wallet, kind of a four pocket wallet. And that's a nice wallet. So thank you. Thank you so much, Paul. <coughs> Excuse me. For doing that very cool you did not have to send me a wallet i would have i would have done what you asked without even without even thinking about it man but i'm i'm so thankful yeah man it's got really good stitching it's really nice <coughs> hey knife market what's up so let's see i'm gonna put that up there by zach we're gonna put it up there for now not only Dude, we're just talking about the given here. That's what we're talking about. Last week on SKL, if you don't remember, and if you weren't here, uh, we talked about an individual that was uh, just was celebrating three years cancer free. And as soon as we started talking about that, people started donating money to buy him a knife. <clears throat> he, had, he had made a comment asking for, you know, suggestions. And he had a couple he wanted. 
Well, Triple E EDC donated an Elementum and sent it to him. I, I ex got the addresses exchanged. That knife is sent. We, the, what we got here is I ended up taking all the money that was donated and I bought him um, a hunter. And I'm completely, God, I'm completely drawing a blank. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Help me. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. Gosh, darn it. I'm trying to look it up right now. Because I'm really... The Kaiser Small Hunter, that's what it was. The Kaiser Small Hunter. That's what we ended up getting him. So, yes, that has been sent out to him. But Didier... Oh, thank you, Zach. Thank you so much. I'm doing good, Knife Market. But Didier all is sending me a knife all the way from Belgium. To give to Mr. Matthew. That's his name, Matthew. To give to Mr. Matthew. So Didier, shout out to you, my friend. I hope you're still here. I hope you didn't leave and I missed you leaving. If you did, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, Glock. I'm sorry. I don't think I said hi to you. How you doing, buddy? So, yes. Oh, shoe monster. Thank you, man. Jack, how you doing, buddy? I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Your eyeball in the dum-dums? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The shot glass full of dum-dums back there. So thank you so much, my friend. Very, very generous of you. When it gets here, I will make sure it gets off to Matthew. So, oh, golly, man. There's just so much giving going on, to, going on in the community. And it's just absolutely fantastic. And like I said, it's not only these guys, but you know what? We will do as much as we can to help, help out whoever we can, whenever we can. I mean, that's just kind of what we do. So I thank you all very much for doing what you do, being so absolutely fantastic. It might take a long time, Didier, but that's okay. That's okay. When it gets here, it'll, it'll get here when it gets here, and we'll, we'll make sure it gets taken care of. So, but just, guys, thank you. Thank you so very much for being you and and helping us out and i know i know we ask a lot of you sometimes but that's why we try to give back as much as well hey bunzo i know me zach i mean all the channels do giveaways and stuff and that's why we do it man it's our way of saying thank you to you guys didier oh it, it might be i could be pronouncing it am i pronouncing it wrong is it didier <laughs> Oh, nice, Spirited. Almost ready to hit 1,500. Very cool, very cool. Oh, well, you can, yeah, we can talk about lock types. I was going to show you some of the stuff that has been donated for the giveaway. But we can talk about lock types. I like a compression lock and an access lock. Those are probably my two favorites. <laughs> I know, Knife Dude. I hadn't seen you for a couple weeks. Hey, Practical Knife Reviews. So I tell you what, guys. There's a lot of there's a lot of new and small channels on here. Decor de Lam. I mean, he's one. You got Practical Knife Reviews. You've got Ethan Ruins EDC. I know there's more. Knife Dude. Where are they at? Where are they all at? Where's my where's my small channels at? And they're here helping out. Shoe Monster Tech. Yeah. Shoe Monster's here. Very cool. Hey, Lorenzo. Jack Donovan. Knife Reviews with Jack. 
Jack Snipe reviews. Oh, you got an Olight bike light? Nice. Knife market. Knives fast. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of small channels here, guys. And you know what I'm thinking about since uh this whole Zoom thing worked out pretty well with me and with with Zach and I when we did this. I think I'm gonna start doing interviews with a bunch of smaller channels to help them try to get recognized, I guess. I mean, I'm not huge by any means, but anything I can do to help out smaller channels, you know, that's just, that's one of the other things I try to do as much as possible. So I think, uh, I think that's what I'm going to start doing. So TI, yep, TI's here. Yes, indeedy. So another good small channel. You got to start somewhere. You got to grow and I'll do, I'll do everything I can to help out guys. So it'll take a while and I'll get here, but we'll get there one by one. So we'll, I think I'm going to start doing that. Yep. Knives fast. Yep. I think him and I are going to sit down and try to do one next week. So we'll see how it goes. Yes, Chad is microphone the knife. Bunzo, yeah, Bunzo is another one. A lot of channels here, and that's what I tell them to do. I say, hey, man, if you guys can get on the... Whose gear is it anyway? That's a good one. I like that name. That's a very good name. So, yeah, I think, I don't know what I'm going to, I don't know for sure what I'm going to call it yet. So, we'll see. Zeb, yeah, Zeb too. <laughs> we'll get her done. But all right, so you guys want to see some of the stuff that has come in for the giveaway? I know I did the unboxings, but I can show you some of that. Like I said, it was a pretty slow knife week. So... So we'll play numbers tonight, probably, for the giveaway. Because we don't have a whole lot of knives. <laughs> so heads up, we'll play numbers tonight. I need to get something to drink. Woo, that coffee. Now I drank the coffee, and now I'm thirsty. So I need to get me some bubbly water. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think so, Knife Dude? <laughs> More Sheepdog? Oh, my goodness. I was thirsty. Oh. Oh, one other thing I did want to talk about. The Rough Rider Reserve Line. Three of those knives. Three of those knives, guys. They went on sale... Was it Friday? Yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Um, at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So, yes. Yes, indeedy. I jumped on them. I want to get them. Look at them. I'm so, so stoked for them to come to be here. So, really, really looking forward to it. So, I got to dig through boxes here. I got a bunch of boxes full of stuff here. So, it's pretty... Oh, uh, well, this is right on top. Let's let's look at this. Let's look at the box of stuff that... This box came to us from EDC Specialties. Shout out to EDC Specialties. But they sent us a pretty cool Star Wars Hank. Very cool. Oh, let's see, a box of Cracker Jacks. I love Cracker Jacks. Oh yeah, you guys know I love my finger cut kit. This is actually just the T-ring. This is not the full finger cut kit, but they sent a T-ring, the finger uh, tourniquet for cuts. I didn't need that last night, but I did cut myself last night. Paracord bracelet. 
the little EDC Specialties branded like little keychain flashlight. Very cool. They sent a bunch of stuff, man. I don't want to I don't want to hurt the sticker. But they sent a really cool Oh, well, if I can get it out. Ah, there it is. Let's see if I can see some Yes, the Mandalorian is back. I haven't seen any of this season, though. I'm trying to get the pry out of there. Oh, there we go. They sent this really cool pry. Kind of half and half. You got some anodization. anodization. Yeah, I can talk. Some anodization going on. Really, really cool looking pry. Put that back in there. A whole nice swag bag full of stickers and stuff. Very cool. And then, oh yeah, the ED, the evil damn cat dog tag. <laughs> hey, OSK, how you doing? Good morning to you. So, very, very cool. So that all came from EDC Specialties. So big time shout out to them for donating that stuff. I'll set it off kind of off to the side there. Hey, Calvin, what's up, buddy? Oh, we're just kind of taking a look at some of the stuff that got donated for Zach and I's giveaway. Hey, Lan, how are you? Weehaw. Weehaw donated the 6-bit driver set, man. This is cool. T6, T6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and T15. Very, very cool. Very cool. Really nice driver set. <laughs> I'm going to say this once. Sorry, Zach. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but thank you. Thank you very much. August West, how you doing? Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, Speedy Sharp. Shout out to Speedy, Sh Speedy Sharp. They sent us three of them. They sent a green one, a gray one, and a red one. I promise I won't keep the red one. Uh, I don't. I don't, Winchester. I don't have one. So, I don't know one, I should say. Let's see, what else do we got? Holiday Leatherworks. This is what I was saying before. I was talking about... You know, those small artisan craftsmen. We have a Holiday Leatherworks leather slip. I'll show it to you real quick. Yeah, those Speedy Sharps do make great ferro rod scrapers for sure. But of course, he sent some swag along, so very cool. He's from South Carolina. And they sent this really, really nice leather slip. His logo there on the slip as well. Really nice. I don't remember what kind of... Oh, man, that smells so good. Hey, Mikey. But yes, indeedy, a really, really nice leather slip from him. So thank you very much to Holiday Leatherworks. Like you said, it's one of those... I have, I have a couple of his slips. I have a few things that he actually made me a notebook... Uh, like a log and jotter notebook uh, carrier that is really really nice, and it's got a it's got a U.S. Navy concho on it with a little leather wrap that folds over and wraps around the concho to keep it shut. That's yeah, really nice, really really nice. Um, let's see. 
Oh, Mad Pal Hanks. Got a nice pretty, it looks blue coming through the camera, but it's a really pretty purple. Yeah, on my screen, it's showing up blue. Hope it's showing up purple for you guys. And then of course, sent a sticker as well, but just a really pretty Hank. Time for some coffee, right on. Yeah, the slip is awesome. It's really, really nice. Oh, let's see, what else we got? Oh, Finch Tool Company, Finch Knife Co. Not Finch Tool, Finch Knife. They sent us a Runtley. They sent the blue Runtley. I love my red and black Runtley. All right, Paul, we'll see you. Good night, buddy. Have a good Sunday. I hope you hope you get that extra hour of sleep, my friend. I love the Runtley. It's a fun little knife. Oh, you're tying flies? That's cool. Very cool. Yeah, this is a, just a cool little knife. Fun, fun little knife. Put that back in there. Yeah, it was kind of a slow week for knives, so I figured I'd just show you some of the stuff that's gonna go in the giveaway. Oh, uh, White Mountain Knives. I don't know if Slicey's still here, but Slicey has a coupon code for White Mountain Knives. But they were nice enough to donate something. This is the Real Steel Citus. Right on, Mikey. Congrats, man. Very cool. Ooh. Stuff's falling out of the box. Let's see here. Trying to keep up with the comments, too. There you go, guys. There is the Real Steel Citus. Yeah, it's a pretty nice knife, that carbon fiber. Man, that carbon fiber looks good. Feels really good in hand. Uh, there was actually a Citus in the... Uh, Give a knife, take a knife that JT. I'm not 100% sure if it is the glow version. Does it say? It just says blue shred carbon fiber. So it, well, it's not blue. So I don't know if that means it glows blue. I'm not 100% sure, Mikey. Light it up. Well, I'll try. See if we can get some light. I don't have a UV. Is it glowing? Doesn't look like it's glowing. But anyway, it very well could. There was one of them in the give a knife, take a knife, and I almost, I almost took it. I almost took it. But there was a Browse Blades in there that I really liked. I liked just a little bit more. So I ended up with that one. Everything packed in there. But that came from White Mountain Knives. So thank you very much to White Mountain Knives. Yeah, I don't have a UV for it. And then Kunwu. Kunwu knives. Let's 
they were so awesome in their customer service and sending this other knife. I was talking to him and I was like, hey, you know what? That second knife, let's put that in our giveaway. And he was like, right on. Sounds good. So there you go. This is the Kunwu Knives Ronin. Exactly. Kun who? Kun Wu. This is a super, super. I love the action on this knife. But very, very cool. You know, I actually might have an Olight, a UV Olight in my box, but I'd have to dig it out. Do I still have the EWC? I actually have two of them. Yes, and I love them. I have the carbon, I have uh, the marble carbon fiber and the rev regular carbon fiber, and I love them. Yes. <laughs> Did you find me a link to an Olight? <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. I think I have one down there, Mikey. Honestly, I think I do have one in my box. My box of stuff. <laughs> now that I think about it. But it would be a real pain to dig out right at the moment. So. <laughs> and the cool thing about Kunwu knives, man, is they come, they come with that extra lock bar insert. Which I just thought that was kind of cool. And the really nice bag. Man, that bag is nice. Kind of like that canvasy type stuff, but then it's really, really soft on the inside. Just really cool packaging. <laughs> He's all hopped up on candy and Dutch Brothers. <laughs> nice, brother, nice. He is the Link Master. I am the key master. Are you the gatekeeper? What movie? What movie is that from? Come on. I won't show you any more stuff until somebody... Okay. Peter guessed it. Yep. There you go. Ghostbusters. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> oh, Border Blades. Are you out? Oh, yeah, yeah. He does. He will. He will get that extra. He'll get that extra hour of sleep for sure. Very good. All right. Well, that didn't take long. So I'm just gonna show you this like this. But this is a whole. There is a whole bunch. Well, here's some swag that Monterey Bay Knives sent us. Well, those stickers might not be for young eyes, but they're cool stickers. Those are awesome stickers couple of patches weha also sent some stickers but pretty much all the rest of this so there's some white mountain knives stickers they sent some stickers is the rest of this yes i think the rest of this is all swag that smoky mountain knife work sent us she sent me a box of it melina she sent zach a box of it she sent a bunch of these too these little like kitchen knives. She sent a whole bunch of these. They are, what's the brand? Zwilling. Yeah, these little Zwilling kitchen knives. Dude, these things look slicey as all get out. Yeah, it looks, it's thin, man. Holy smokes, this thing is thin. Nice, nice little kitchen knives, man. She sent, I don't know, half a dozen at least. Uh, five, I think. Five of them. So whole box of swag from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Melina knows I like the swag, so. There you go. Well, very cool. Oh, you got one in your swag bag that you won? Oh, that's cool. Right on. What else? Oh, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep showing stuff. What have we been doing? Oh, almost 50 minutes. Okay, we guess we still got some more time. Let's see. Rescue Me. I don't know if you've heard of this company. 
But Rescue Me sent a bunch of these little, they're basically car escape tools. They have, um, it's sealed, so I don't want to open it. I'll let the winner open it. But it's basically a little keychain car escape tool. It has a seatbelt cutter. It has a glass breaker. Really, really cool. And they sent us, I think, four or five of these she sent me. So thank you very much for rescue. Hey, what's up, G? What's up, G? How you doing, man? Very cool. She sent a bunch of these to throw in the giveaway. So awesome. Awesome. So we got a bunch of those. Oh, guys, work sharp. Work sharp. Work sharp. Hook it up. Oh, passing a kidney stone. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, one of the guys at work brought in a kidney stone that he passed. Oh, my God. He gave birth to that thing. That thing was huge. I'm hoping you're doing all right, brother. After seeing that, I have so much sympathy for people with kidney stones and I never, ever, ever want to have them myself. Oh my God. So I think I have four of these little micro sharpeners. Yeah, after seeing what the one he had, no, I, no, I don't. Um... Why the giveaway? It's a holiday giveaway, Mick. Zach and I will be doing a giveaway. It probably will post probably the first part of December. Yeah, man, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. But let's see, we got, I think, four of those. And I think I got three or four of these, the guided field sharpeners. I kind of got to hold it like this so it'll fit. But if you guys have been watching Zach's channel... Uh, I think he just posted this one today. I haven't watched the, I have not watched the video on this one yet. Sorry, Zach. I wasn't home. I was out running around chasing kids, scaring them in the trees. But that sounded bad. That sounded really bad. Um, it was for Halloween. We were doing a scavenger hunt. There, I qualified it. But yes, Zach did, he's already, he did the uh, guided field sharpener. He's been doing the week of work sharp. So very, very cool. Very cool. So. Hey, CK, what's up? Oh, guys, there's some good stuff coming from work sharp. I'm going to tell you that right now. I've got a video coming from work sharp that it's going to be really, really cool. I'm pretty excited. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, that whetstone is pretty neat. I have never used a whetstone, but that one was pretty, pretty nice. So, very cool. Yes, I've got a, there's, I mean, there's a, there's the box of them. There's a box of them that WorkSharp sent. So, very cool. I'll leave the small one out there so we can see that. Oh, see you, Dilip. Thank you. I didn't see you come in earlier. I apologize. Thank you for joining us tonight. Have a good, I'm thinking it's daytime there. So have a good day, my friend. Have a good week. And thank you very much for being here. Hey, what's up, EDC Journeys? Another small channel starting up, growing. Very good. So welcome, buddy. How you doing? And I'll just show you this right now, but that's the Geo knife, the 901. That was the knife that Monster Racing chose and then donated to our giveaway. So definitely shout out to Monster Racing for that. Thank you very much. Oh, what else? What else? and our wallet guys I've done a few and our wallet reviews and our sent us four 
leather wallet. Oh, this thing's going to be huge. This is just the stuff I have. This is not including the stuff that Zach has. We're going to get together right around Thanksgiving sometime and pack boxes. This thing's going to be big. It's going to be big. But and our wallet. There you go. Donated four wallets. Two that are called the Ranger. This one is a Ranger. But very, very nice leather wallet. A couple of pockets here. Cash strap. Pocket here. Little tab to help pull it out of your pocket. Uh, ID pocket or something right here. Just gorgeous, gorgeous make. Very, very quality. I do need a bigger desk. You are right. Yes, this is just the stuff I have. This does not include everything that Zach has. And this is, I mean, you already heard Sean Hassan from Tepe Designs. He said he was going to send something. Guys, we are still, we are still talking to companies. It's only going to get bigger. It's only going to get bigger. So, are you doing your live tomorrow, Zach? Let's find out. Let's find that out right now. Zach, doing your live tomorrow? Yeah, the post office is definitely going to love us. It's going to be crazy big, but that's exactly cool. Zach's going live 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, guys. 11 a.m. Pacific time. That would be 2 a.m. or 2 p.m., excuse me, for all you East Coasters. So, Also from Andar, they sent, I think, three or four sets of these little leather cord burritos. So basically you put your like headphone cord or whatever in there wrap it up and then snap it shut where can you find those wallets andarwallet.com i think zach put a link up there before but it's andar a n d a r is it andar wallet or andar.com i already get two 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 andarwallets.com right there there you go there's a code. Use it. There you go. Andarwallets.com. So very, very cool. Very awesome of them to send these out. So. Oh, got to make sure. Whew. Man. I'm getting wore out showing you all this stuff. Holy smokes. Whew. There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. I'll do my I'll do my one-time shameless plug. Guys, you see all the guys with the stars next to their names? That's because they are members of Big Red's Brigade. That is my channel memberships, $5 a month. $5 a month gets you, it gets you the loyalty badges. That's the stars next to their names. It gets all you, it gets all the, the emojis that you see going there. Um, gets you 25% or 20%, excuse me, 20% off any knife sales I do. Um, early access and exclusive member content. All that good stuff. So I really appreciate all of you guys that do support the channel in that member. So I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Hey, Dane, good morning. How are you? Good to see you, my friend. Oh, uh, what else? I'm almost done. Almost done. Oh, anti-gear. Anti-Gear sent three of these anti-wallet um, holster and uh, kind of patch bands like this. So you can, they're Velcro, so you can kind of 
personalize your wallet with any patch. This just happens to be a Topps knife patch on it. Hey, C. Lemansky, what's up? So we got that. We got three of those. Oh, Ronan, my goodness. Holy cow. No, that's a whole, whoa, we got to give Ronan some love. Holy smokes. I'm sorry, Zach, I didn't give you any love earlier. I apologize. But there is definitely some love for Ronan. Thank you so very much. Wow. Oh, Lisa, hey, I know you've been watching, and I saw you before, and I'm sorry I didn't say hi. I apologize. Hey, Acetone, what's up? Oh, Ethan. Thank you. Thank you. Let's show Ethan, Ethan some love. Holy smokes. It's a holy smokes party now. Jesse B's in the house. What is up? Things are getting crazy. Money's flying. People are joining. Woohoo! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm having a good time. And last but not least, last but definitely not least, the good folks from Toft Knives. Check this out. Look at that cup, man. One life, one knife. Oh no, you haven't missed a giveaway. Not yet. All right, G. Have a good night, buddy. I sure hope you feel better, brother. Doggone, man. Have a good night. Have a good Sunday. I hope it goes well for you, man. But they sent, and then they sent this, this really nice ball cap, man. Very cool. So I think that is everything. Whew. Oh, they sent some swag, too. They sent some swag. I got to give them... I got to give them props for their swag that they sent, too. I gave props for everybody else's swag. So they, so they sent some patches. They sent a patch like the one I have on mine. So, yes. Yes, very cool. Big time shout out to Tops. Whew. Wow. Guys, that is a lot of stuff. No? No? Well, there is more. But it's all stuff that I have here that I'm going to donate. And I'm not going to show you that. And I might not show you that at all. That just might be some surprise stuff that goes in the box. I might show you a few things. But we're going to put some stuff. The thing about this giveaway, guys, is we're going to pack these boxes. And I'm showing you right now what might be in the box that you may win. You won't know exactly what is in that box. It's a gift. It's a holiday gift. Show. Yeah, it's there's going to be a little bit of a surprise to it. Hey, Tom, what's up? How you doing? Oh, that's it. That is it. Whew. I'm tired now. Huh. I might be too tired to do a giveaway. What do you think? No. You know we're going to do a giveaway. You know I wouldn't do that to you. I think so. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> no, no, no. No sexy JB pictures. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll, we'll save those for another time. <laughs> Definitely save those for another time. <laughs> yes, we are going to do a giveaway on top of a giveaway. You guys know, you guys know I love giving back to you. I mean, you guys, I mean, you guys have donated to the channel. You, you join as a channel member and you support the channel with your hard earned money. Guys, this is the least we can do to say thank you for supporting us, for supporting what we do. And guys, it's kind of selfish. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'll speak for myself. It's kind of selfish 
because I love doing it. I get a lot of joy from doing this stuff, from doing these giveaways. So you know what? I, I'll do it for my own selfish reasons, but you know what? You guys benefit. <laughs> How's that? Oh, Knife Market. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Woohoo, there's some love for you. Thank you very much. I tell you what, guys, every bit of that goes right back into the channel. There's, it does. And I tell you what, <laughs> probably a lot of that is going to go for shipping for this giveaway. I'll be perfectly honest with you, but that's okay. That is okay. So thank you very much, guys. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I'm getting my piece of paper here ready for our giveaway. Um, like I said, we're going to do numbers tonight, guys. It'll just be easier. So thank you very much, Knife Market. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So let's see. Oh, I need to pick a number. I need to pick a number. So I'm going to pick a number between... Uh, oh, of course, Monster. Of course. No problem. Oh, yeah. Pick a number, any number. I'm going to pick a number between 200. It's going to be a number between 200 and 350. 200 and 350. That's going to be our spread. So let's do this number. One number between 200 and 350. I've got it written down. I am going to fold it. Price is right rules closest without going over. Closest. Am I buffering? I hope not. I hope it didn't go. I hope I didn't go too long. I hope I'm not buffering now. Might be you, Mick. I hope, no offense, but I hope it's you. <laughs> I have not had an issue with buffering for a while because I swapped computers. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's over. I've done everything I can. So, all right, guys, we've got our number. What are we going to get? Of course, you are going to get a swag bag, a Zach Stuff sticker, Tonight's special prize, you're going to get a log and jotter. You're going to get a log and jotter patch. That's kind of your special prize for tonight in the swag bag. So there you go, log and jotter patch. Um, there's also a tier one coaster in there, so that's kind of special. So there you go, there's your swag pack. A Shadowborn Hanks because, well, JD's just awesome. He's been a huge supporter of the channel. He is also a brigade member. He JD just is awesome, man. I'll, I'll do everything I can to support his Hank business because he has supported the channel so, so much. So there you go. I don't know. I haven't seen Tier 1. He might, he might be out Halloweening. Who knows? A very, very nice Hank from Shadowborn Hanks. But wait, there's more. It's Halloween, guys, right? It's Halloween. So I wanted to kind of do a Halloween themed, and I really didn't have a whole lot. That's kind of why I stuck the Log and Jotter sticker in there, or the patch in there, because it was orange. And I was like, oh, wait, I have this. How about this little guy? The Happy Halloween SD Classic. This one came in a Smoky Mountain Knife Works care package. So a Halloween, Halloween themed SD Classic. That will be our giveaway tonight. So. I love SD classics. That's probably, that is probably, that and the Pioneer are probably my two favorite SAC models. Um, because, well, the Pioneer has scissors too. 
So, yes, happy Halloween, everyone. It's not Halloween anymore in some places. It's still Halloween here, though. And everybody was talking about a blue moon, but the moon's not blue here. I'm a little bummed. So here's what we're going to do, guys. When you see the start on the screen, I want you to pick a number between 200 and 350. One guess. One guess only. If you guess more than once, I will take your first guess. That's how we're going to do it. And when it comes up on the screen, I'll give it a little bit of time. Everybody can make your guess. Day of the Dead, yeah. Hey, Triple E, no, it's not too late to party. Thanks for showing up, brother. I mentioned you earlier about how awesome you were about donating that uh, Elementum to, to uh, Matthew. So thank you very much, brother. We were talking about you earlier. So there's the start, guys. Go ahead, make your guess. One guess between 200 and 350. One guess only, please. Closest without going over will win. Oh, what you're playing for? You're playing for this little Victorinox SD Classic, the Halloween one, the Shadowborn Hank, and the Swag Pack. That's what you're playing for, buddy. Oh, you don't have to do it just for fun, see, Lemansky. You can do it for real. I appreciate you. Appreciate you either way. But, hey, Oregon Knife Guy, what's up? Big Cheese, how you doing? I'm just going back and looking through, see if anybody hit it right on the head. Oregon Knife Guy is here. Happy Halloween. Yeah, that Rainbow Trout SD Classic. That's pretty cool, too. I should get one of those. I should. All right. Everybody got their guess in. Man, there's some close ones. Whoo, there's some close ones. There is some close ones. Zeb's asleep. <laughs> Zeb always falls asleep. <laughs> Did you guess? I didn't see if you guessed. Oh, yeah, there you go. You guessed. Okay, cool. Very good. All right, so I think we're getting about there. I think everybody has got their guesses in. I don't see any more guesses coming. So I'm going to put the stop on the screen. So there's our stop. Our number was 287. 287. And I'm pretty sure somebody hit it right on the head. And there was definitely a lot of close ones. So I'm going to go back and double check. There was a lot of close ones, man. Wow. So I see one, I see TI Addiction with a 287. I see a 285, a 284, a 288, a 289. There was a lot of close ones, holy cow. I saw those come up and I'm like, oh, that's so close. Yeah, what was yours, 279, I think? Yeah, there was a lot of close ones. So yeah. Congratulations to Chris, TI Addiction. You're the winner, brother. So, um, hey, Chris, shoot me a message. 
I'm pretty sure I have, I still have your address, but do me a favor and just shoot me a message on Instagram. It'll be right there. So I can, I can get it, but, and we'll get this out to you. I'll get it out to you on Monday. So very, very cool. I know Oregon, man. There, there were several of them that were so close. I think there was 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. There was a lot of them right there. I was like, oh, man. So, guys, thank you for another absolutely awesome SKL tonight. Happy Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I enjoyed being with you. Thank you all that made donations, joined as channel members. I greatly, greatly thank you. It, guys, from the bottom of my heart, this is one of the funnest things I do with the channel, and I just really appreciate y'all staying up late or getting up early to be here. So, oh, Ian. Oh, we got to give Ian some love. We got to give Ian some love. There's some... Give Ian some love. Yes, guys, do not forget. Set your clocks back tonight one hour when you go to bed. Get that extra hour of sleep. Also, do not forget, Zach will be live tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. And sorry, guys, but I don't know what time in the UK. I think that's like 7-ish, 6, 7-ish at night, right around there somewhere. So, guys, thank you for another awesome SKL. Happy Halloween. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. I hope you have a very, very good week. And we will see you right back here next week for an early SKL. Early SKL next week, guys, 2 p.m. Pacific time. 2 p.m. Pacific time. Hope to see you all there. Have a fantastic week. Much love and appreciation, guys. Good night.